Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Sparkplug. So in this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to make <coughs> uh, this sheet metal part in Fusion 360. So basically, basically, uh, this is a very simple exercise. This is just to teach you the basic concepts of sheet metal in Fusion 360. So without wasting any time, we will get started. So we'll go to New York Space, and there's an option called Go to Sheet Metal. If you just go to Modify, there's an option called Sheet Metal Rules. So here, what, what uh, basically, uh, I guess all of you are aware and those who are not aware of that, basically when we are working in sheet metal, the thing thickness remains constant. For, for example, uh, uh, just to explain you guys, uh, sheet metal works by bending a sheet of metal in different shape and sizes. But the thickness of the sheets remains constant. So that is why you need to predefine the sheet that you are using. So for example, uh, in the library here, uh, these are the pre-installed uh, uh, designs that you have here. For example, if I just go to aluminium, the thickness here is uh, 2 mm, the K factor is here and the meter, I don't know what the hell this is. And there is the bend condition, the bend radius and all. And you can always edit this in any change. For example, if I just make this aluminium, I just want to change the thickness here. You can just alter the thickness here. Uh, but for now, let's make it 2 mm only. Let's show you the how to how you can alter the thickness here. We will start by uh, we will start by making this arc here. So for that, just go to create a sketch, and we'll start by making on a front plane. So press C for circle from the center. Draw a circle. Press D dimension, and draw a circle of dia 60 mm. Now once done, press L for line and draw a center construction line like this press l again switch off the construction mode and draw a one another line like this now press d again from this point to this point make this as 35 divided by 2 that's 17.5 and from this point to this point this dimension is going to be 70 mm now once done press t for trim and trim these extra lines so we have a, a, a semicircle and a line here and now go to fillet and give a fillet of r30 here radius 30 now just mirror this circle this circle this fillet and this line and select the mirror line as the center one and press ok once your sketch is completed you may finish the sketch now you can extrude it right click uh, select uh, instead of extrude just select flange select this profile and click on this add new selection also and this one and drag it like this so basically as you guys can see the thickness is already taken because we are were already uh, uh, described the thickness from the sheet metal rules here all I need to do is make it symmetry or you don't have to make it symmetry and the distance just make it one sided and keep the distance as 45 mm and keep it as a new body now you can, you can see the sheet metal rule whatever you have chosen there you can just alter it for example i have i want to choose the aluminium as 2 mm and the bend override rules here there's the bend radius and all other you can just alter it from here also now the thickness can be of symmetry one sided and two sided so for that we are going to use the inside thickness so this one is inside this one is outside and this is the symmetry so i am going to use the inside thickness for now and just press ok now we have our body here press a for appearance and my personal favorite again those of you who continuously watches my video my personal favorite is mirror one so just mirror yeah here it is although if you don't want to just press shift and n and it will automatically assign some color but for now let's leave it like like that only now click on flange select this outer edge here click on add button select on this one also again click on add and select this outer edge and click on add and select this one 
now just drag it up uh, up to a distance of 25 like this now uh, the here's the option called inside uh, let me just switch it to what was there adjacent yeah just switch the bend position to adjacent or you can just uh, yeah yeah, adjacent seems fine and this is the return height, the inner face and the outer face. The length uh, is from inner face or the outer face. You can just uh, define from here. Uh, and I don't know his was the option for this one is used for. So once done, you can also change the angle if you want here. You know, so let's keep it 90 degree for now and press OK. Now, once done click on create a sketch and on this plane draw a circle at center of this line of dia 8 press d again and from this point to this circle make it 10 mm now press l again and draw a center line like this and mirror this circle and finish the sketch and extrude this this I am uh, just extrude cut it like this now the only thing left is to cut this slot here as you guys can see uh, this slot is not being made directly by extruding cut or it's normal to every curve here so what I'm going to do is I am going to unbend <coughs> the sheet here so for that what I'm going to do is if you just go to create, there's an option called uh, where it is create flat pattern. So basically, what it does is it just creates the flat pattern, but you cannot edit or uh, the thing, uh, the changes that you made while you are in the create pattern form will not be applicable to the actual design. For example, if I just go to create pattern, I'm just going to tell that this is going to be a stationary part, and if I just press OK, what it has done, it has uh, created a flat pattern of that design only now let's suppose that I make a hole here just a roughly hole here just to explain you guys what the difference between uh, this is hole here right if I just finish the flat plane but the hole is in the actual design is gone while as you guys can see it's not in the here also it is not uh, captured in the design history also so that is why what happens is the option for the flat pattern is just to export the design in the DXF format or uh, just to have a better visual of the design uh, while it, while how it will look in the flat pattern now in order to modify in order to ch make changes in the design while in the flat pattern you need to go to design and click on unfold so for that for example if I just click on unfold it will select it will ask you about the stationary entity Remember, just uh, in order to unfold, you need to tell Fusion 360 up as any uh, plane surface, a plane surface uh, that Fusion 360 will make stationary. For example, let's take this phase as stationary, and there's an option called unfold all bends or the selected bend. For example, I would, I just want to select unfold this bend also. So just, if I just click on it, the fusion will only unfold this one also. For example, if I just click on this also, so fusion will uh, only uh, unfold the uh, selected face also. But as we are working on the as a design here, so what I'm going to do is just cross it and click on unfold all bends. It will create a flat pattern. So you can click and um, do whatever you like and press OK. Now we have a flat pattern here and any changes made to this flat pattern will also be applicable to the real face. For example, now I'm going to create uh, this slot in the center here. So just click on create a sketch and this view. We will start by making a center line here. Press L again and make a center line. This is, of, this is the center point here. And do the same for this point also maybe uh, but uh, one thing that I was not able to figure out that while working in the unfold view the any sketch that we draw uh, will have these opacity issue I don't know why if some of you are aware why this happens for example if I just hide the components you guys can see the line is there but it's 
uh, a little bit translucent so if you any guys are uh, you guys are aware of that so let me just know in the comments below so we have a line here so just go to create and we will create a center to center slot from this point to this point a slot like this now as you guys can see it's very hard to know where the slot is so i'm going to mirror it so symmetry it with respect to this line press d again select the center distance of the slot at 100 and the dia of the slot is going to be 8 now once done you may finish the sketch and just unhide the body and extrude cut the slot like this and okay now another slot that i need to make is at the center only so make a uh, center line here and go to slot center to center slot this time like this press l again and from the center line draw a center line here go to constraint go to symmetric select the outermost point of the slot and make it symmetry press d again select this line and make the slot dimension as 30 and the dia the dia make it 5 5 seems bigger make it 4 and just finish the sketch now just extrude cut this hole also like this once done uh there's an option called refold faces so uh, once you are finished while working in the flat pattern view, just click on refold places and ta -da! your design will automatically get in the actual shape while making the changes that you have made. As you guys can see, it's normal to all the surface here. So this completes our exercise. The only thing left is to create those chamfers here. Uh, that's not a big deal. I guess that there's an option called chamfer here and you just... Just like in spa design, you can just give it a chamfer here. Uh, okay, so uh, one thing, once your design is finalized, uh, for the cutting of the part, you need to convert it into the 2D straight. So for that, just click on create pattern here and click on the stationary face and it will give you, and remember the hole that we have created here, this is, this is the timeline for that hole. So what I'm going to do, do is just delete this extrude cut last time that we have did. So this is the, our flat pattern. And once you have designed, remember the if you are in the uh, flat pattern view, not in the unfold view, the timeline here represents uh, uh, the timeline here is completely different. But, but once you are finalized the design, there's an option called export and export the current design as a DXF format in the 2D drawing. And you guys can uh, make that uh, in uh, use, use that anyway. So this completes our exercise. Hope you guys will enjoy. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.